Welcome to Alban Cat's video on a machine that has run out of fuel and what to do to get it started again. This specific model is a um, 246C Caterpillar skid steer and a lot of times people just forget or they're too busy or they've run a long day and they're past what they normally run and they run out of fuel. Ideally you would refuel the machine every evening and that cuts down on condensation in the tank and it doesn't um, cool down, condensate overnight, and then water drops into the fuel. So in the perfect world, you would uh, fuel up all your equipment at the end of the shift, and then in the morning when everybody comes in, you're ready to go. So let's say this um, 246C has been run out of fuel, and the first thing you're gonna have to do is access the uh, fuel tank, and on this specific model, you're gonna we're going to open this rear engine enclosure. If you're not sure where any component is on any cat machine, refer to your operation and maintenance guide, which is housed inside the cab, behind the operator's seat, in a uh, compartment, and then you can reference that material to find out where all the components are on the specific cat machine you have that day. On the 246C, to access a fuel tank, and the fuel priming pump, we're going to open this rear engine enclosure. So you reach in this divot here and there's a handle that you pull towards you and open up the rear door. With the door open, you can access the fuel tank to fill the tank back up and you can also access the fuel filter, water separator, and the priming pump is all incorporated in one housing. So this 246 has run out of fuel and it won't start. The first thing you want to do is remove the fuel cap. So you have to flip this lever up, turn it clock counterclockwise, and pull the cap off. And then you're going to fill the fuel tank with clean filtered fuel from a known good fuel source. After filling the fuel tank, you'll put the cap back on, turn this black handle clockwise, and put it back down over this green tab. After the fuel's been into the tank, this electric fuel priming pump is activated by the key inside the cab that you would start with, the ignition switch. After fuel has been introduced into the fuel tank and you know it's full, you're going to come into the cab and we're going to take the uh, cat key in the start switch and you're going to turn it to its first position which is just a click to the right. With that key turned to the right in the first position, it's going to allow the um, fuel pump, the priming pump, to cycle and that's going to fill the filter and the fuel lines and you want to give that about two minutes. You want to ensure that this pump is running and if this bowl is empty from running out prior that you have entered fuel is filled up in this clear bowl. After a two minute period you can go ahead and crank and start the uh, engine and uh, it should prime. If on the first attempt it doesn't start you want to shut the key off go back to the right click position, wait two minutes for it to run and refill the lines purging any air out and then you can go ahead and crank and start but it should start on the first time. After you know you've ran the priming pump for two minutes in the first key position you're going to go ahead and start it. And you want to let the engine run at low idle for about another minute to two minutes to let it work out any other air in the system. Then you're going to be good to go to run the machine and operate it normally. For more information on Alban Cat, please visit our website at albancat.com. Thank you.